Hey guys, welcome to the video for Phyla Mollusca class Gastropoda. Um, before spring break, we very briefly started our um, intro to Mollusca notes, but these are two different snails that are found in ca uh, class Gastropoda, Gastropoda meaning stomach foot. So what I have here is my son's um, little beach aquarium that I bought him and it's pretty cool because um, you can see some pretty cool stuff in here. Um, here is one snail. He's trying to extend out his foot because he's upside down and he doesn't like being upside down. Let me see if I can go over this side of him. Um, yeah, can you see very well? Do, 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 do. Maybe not. Um, the top view is better. So this guy is trying to extend. You can see he's moving around a little bit. What every single snail has is something called an operculum. And this operculum is right here. Okay, on this other snail you can see. Okay, this is a type of whelk, it's an orange. So you can kind of see this hard mass that's right here. This is called the operculum, and the orange part is actually the strong muscular foot. Um, if he is feeling threatened, he will pull himself all the way into his shell, and the operculum is also known as the trap door. That operculum will be the last thing to kind of fill the opening. And that opening is called the aperture, like the aperture on a camera is the opening. So this operculum is going to perfectly fit the opening or the size of the aperture. Okay, let um, me dip him again so he stays nice and wet. Alrighty, um, so for these guys, they have their um, three characteristics that puts them in phylum mollusca. Um, they have a mantle, a foot, and a radula, so you saw the large muscular foot. For their shells, um, this right part up here, the point, is called the apex. The apex is the oldest part of the shell and the uh, mantle is what actually secretes the shell and so this leading edge of the aperture is the newest portion of the shell. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember back from the video before we left from school but if there is ever some damage um, the mantle is able to kind of do a patch job on the inside. Um, this guy looks doesn't really look like he's got any scars which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the, um, the aperture with the operculum and then the foot's on the inside. This guy has officially righted himself up. It's called a fighting conch. There's a big muscular foot that's being pulled into his shell. Okay, he's pulling in pretty slowly, which is surprising. And there is his operculum right there. The operculum is attached to the foot. Okay. Um, something else that I want you guys to see if I turn them this way, you will see this little piece that's coming out right here. It doesn't get blurry. This is called the siphon. The siphon is what actually allows the snail to taste the water and to breathe. Um, let me see if I can get him attached to the side a little bit better. You see the siphon coming out. Sometimes if you attach him to the side of a bucket or whatnot or a tank, they will figure out it's this hard spot and they'll attach it. But it doesn't look like he's wanting to do that right now. All right. Well, he's not really playing around. I've got some other cool stuff in here. Maybe you can see, I've got some comb jellies. I've got some fish that I caught. Um, just something for my kids to enjoy and for me to teach you guys. So hope you're having a blast at home. And uh, if you're able to get out, get out. At least walk around and breathe some fresh air and see some birds. All right, but there are your two gastropods. Bye guys.